Hey, hello, it's John here for another 850 tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to be creating that really nice material from Zelda Breath of the Wild. When you're powering up your Sheikah Slate, there's like this power up stone, and it looks really nice. And it doesn't matter if you've not played the game, because you'll still get to see the effects, and it's you know it's good practice for keeping our materials sharp and you know playing with different elements. So let's get going. I have created two things over here I have the texture and this is what's going to create the most of the material effect and there's a tutorial on that and I very very quickly roughly modeled up the actual stone thing and again there's a quick tutorial on that should you wish to look at how to do that so let's get going with the unreal part the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to take this texture and I'm just going to right click it and I'm going to say create material from. And I'm going to leave it as that. So here we go. Here we go. Let's get ready. Let's full screen this a bit so we've got a bit of visuals. I'm going to bring you over here and disconnect as well. So let's set this to, let's go mast. Yeah, let's operate a mast. And what we're going to want to do is, we've got our texture sample. We're going to want to take the alpha channel from this because it's a PNG. So let's create a multiply by holding M and clicking. And combine the RGB with the alpha. And now if we, let's say, throw that into the emissive color, what we should get is hopefully just this effect. So I'm just going to press save and give it a second to update. Let's have a look at it. Awesome. As you can see, we've now got this and we're starting to see the shape of it already. Thanks to the awesome texture. Cool, but obviously we've still got a bit more work to do. So what we're going to want to do is duplicate these things with Control W. Bring you down here. And we're going to want to duplicate you as well and repeat this step because what we what we want is we're gonna have the smaller ones and the bigger ones. So I'm gonna duplicate and duplicate you over here too. And then once we've got these we're gonna to want to be able to combine these together. And we're gonna do so with an add. So we can right click and type in add or we can just hold A. And again let's bring these together like so. And we're going to want to put this in our emissive, replacing that one. Now at the moment, they're basically the same thing, the same places. We're going to want to change that a little. So what I'm going to do is create a panner. And what this will do is get the material moving up and down. Control W again to duplicate. And on this top one, Let's say we're going to keep this top one its original size and let's say the Y speed will be minus one. This one, let's go minus 0 0.1. I didn't put a minus in there. Minus 0 0.1. And let's pull you over here like so. And we're going to need one more thing because we're going to want this one to look slower. So we're going to want some chords some texture coordinates and let's just say four 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 for the sake of testing all right then for the most part looking okay let's hit save real quick and see what that looks like all right that's looking pretty cool pretty exciting stuff um the bigger part though is coming down way too fast so I'm going to set you to maybe minus 0.2. Let's try that. And just to keep organized, I will click comment for this one. Larger text. Smaller. Cool. Um, also note that we have this black background. We want to get rid of that. And we're just going to do this quite simply by, let's say, add a blue. So the blue is 
sort of a bit of a, a lighter blue, a bit more sort of glowy, looking around, yeah that looks quite nice, that should do it. So let's drink, drag you and pop you into our base colour. The text as well should be more glowy, so what I'm going to do is add a multiplier and let's say, let's go absolutely crazy and add that by 40, multiply that by 40, drag you into there and let's, you know what, let's do one more thing just to really sell this, look how nice that looks looking, 40 is probably too high though, Wait, let's just go 30. Um, one more thing, I'm going to go into, I've got start content into here, so let's go down, look at our textures, um, probably going to want some kind of maybe like rock, stone based texture, something that's not going to be too much, some rocky detail, yeah let's try dragging a rocky detail into here. feel like that's probably going to be too much, you know. You know, let's do ground gravel, actually. Ground gravel should be quite nice. Alright, so I just... Did that twice, I thought it was lagging. And... Let's drag you into our normal. And hit save on this. Cool. And as we can see, we have... A lot of more extra sort of detail now that's going to make it look a lot more rocky. So let's go back and find my object. I'm going to place you in here and I'm going to scale you up a bunch. Probably too much, but it'll do. And it's already got like a, a preset sort of material, but let's replace this blue one. And darn it, the material's going up. So let's quickly go into here and where these were set to minus on the panner. Let's set this to, let's go 0 0.12. And on you, let's go. 0 0.06 so I'm just really just halving those and then I'm going to hit save and let's actually check it out okie doke let's have a look see let's hit play get in there and have a look wait you know what let's do this properly let's get a, a whole screen going on look at that how good does that look? The answer is a simple one. Very. I think the emissive's probably a bit too high, and I think it would look even better if we had a roof in this place. So I'm going to change that and add that. Drop the emissive, add a roof. But either way, that looks real good. So let's drop the emissive, maybe 20 should be good. Move. Okay, that's saved. Let's move you out of the way. Zoom out and position, let's say about there, cool, alright let's give it a test, look at that, how good does that look, I think maybe light the scene up a bit more and yeah, nice, so there you go, I hope you have 
found that useful, and or at least you found the inert material sort of kind of cool. It's always a nice bit of practice to do these kind of things. Let's put a point light in here. And yeah, sorry, I hope you have found this useful and or at least you know, it's a good bit of practice. Zelda was a great game, just finished actually recently after all this time. But yeah, I thought the material was really nice and it's definitely something I wanted to get give a go to. Might come back to this at some point and try, see what it looks like, adding a camera and stuff to it. But yeah, there you go. Please remember you can support our content on Patreon or even just by liking and subscribing to these videos. It all helps us a lot. So, thanks for watching, guys.